Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Wow. The Four of Wands, bottom of the deck. That's commitment, that's marriage. Let's see. Okay, Capricorn, let's see. So with the Four of Wands here as the overall energy, I definitely see this as some kind of celebration that's coming towards you, okay? Uh, this is long term, this is commitment, this is celebration some sort, this is a twin flame reunion, okay, whatever have you. But something very awesome is coming towards you and with the emperor here on the bottom of the deck, could be dealing with an Aries, doesn't have to be. But I feel there's someone here who is a control freak, very stubborn, you know, is finally taking control of the situation between you guys. Could be dealing with someone non-committal or could be dealing with someone, you know, who was just not ready for something stable, something structured, okay. That's the kind of person that's coming towards you and uh, they want to be with you, okay, on the same page. This person is definitely thinking of uh, long term with you, okay. A lot of stability and security coming your way. We have the Six of Cups and the Page of Pentacles here in the past. Now, there was a reconciliation in the past, I feel. Give me one more card uh, for the past. Give me one more card for the past with the Six of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Give me one more card for the past with the Six of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands. I feel there was a lot of love here in the past, okay? You could be dealing with a soulmate. You could be dealing with, um, yeah, definitely with a soulmate here. There could be a significant difference between you guys, okay? It could be age, could be distance. Something was a huge difference between you guys. But I think there was a reconciliation in the past, okay? Or you had the best of memories in the past here with someone, okay? And someone came towards you with an offer, with a page of pentacles here. But I think you were dealing with someone here who was very immature, very immature. This person could have friend zoned you, okay? You could be wanting something very serious, very committed with this person here. But the problem here is with the nine of wands here, you could be dealing with someone who was very, who probably, this person could have kept you very insecure in the connection, okay? Or you were feeling very insecure with this person here. But the nine of wands is someone here who had their guards up, okay? Um, this is someone who usually protects their heart, okay? Because this person has gone through a lot of pain in the past, okay? But yes, there was still that energy of not giving up and still fighting for something, okay? But someone was protecting their heart here. I feel you were dealing with a strong connection for sure. But with the page of pentacles here, you were dealing with someone who is not giving you the entire package. I feel you've tried to work out this thing, this situation with this person over and over and over again, okay? But someone just is... It just tends to be on guard, you know. This person is someone who doesn't fully give in to the situation is what I'm getting. Yeah, yeah, you know. And you're fed up of hanging around, waiting. Yeah, this is someone, a connection that made you very exhausted. Like I said, you try to make it work, work, work with this person over and over again. You know, you thought you could be happier with this person. They would probably change, you know. You knew probably you could be happier with someone else, but uh, you were not confident enough to let this person go, although you saw the immaturity in this person here. You probably thought that if you hold on, held on to this person a little more, longer, this person would probably come around or this person would change. This person would come towards you in a right way. Because this was a strong soulmate connection, okay? But the problem here is with the page of pentacles, the effort was very minimal, okay? This person was giving you a very small offer, whereas that was not something that you wanted. Your current energies towards this person is the ace of wands with the father of cups here. There is a potential here in your mind, okay? You have a lot of love for this person here with the King of Cups, okay? And with the Ace of Wands here, you definitely want a brand new beginning with this person, okay? You want a clean slate. You want to start from scratch, yeah? This is a very passionate brand new beginning that you want with this person. You're very passionate, very enthusiastic about this person. This person inspires you. you got that drive to get this thing going, okay? And with the King of Cups here, I think that you have a lot of love for this person here, you know? You have a lot of love for them. But the thing is that, the kind of love that you show them, you know, I mean, it's say you keep the emotions, the expression of your emotions very minimal, 
okay that's why you probably come off to be very hot and cold to this person here you know emotionally manipulative probably is also how this person get look at you as but uh, i feel you're trying to balance out your head and heart but you can definitely come off as someone here you know i mean you have your eyes on this person for sure okay you have and love the feelings the emotions but it's very unstable okay it comes and goes why because i feel you're still in that energy of not wanting to fully commit to this person because you know you're being very uh, on and off you're not completely telling this person how much you love them because the kind of start you want with them is the ace of wands so i feel you your passion side overpowers your love for this person okay it's like yes there is one emotional side of you and there's a passionate side of you the love is there not i'm not saying that but i'm just saying that your passionate side overpowers the emotional side and whilst this person out here i think the one you're dealing with is someone who's more wanting more of emotions rather than passion and that's why it didn't work out in the past um and then in, in the current situation we have the ten of wands with the page of swords sorry with the knight of swords the person you're dealing with capricorn i feel this person has a lot on their plate okay this person has a lot on their plate with the 10 of wands here this person could be having a lot of responsibilities you know but whatever it is this person is very overwhelmed with burdens and responsibilities that they have to do it all on their own okay they're quite exhausted but i feel in the current situation here someone here is ending a very stressful cycle you know that's very difficult to deal with okay this person is keeping their burdens to themselves but as soon as they get done with right right they're going to come towards you with the son of swords they are they're going to come towards you with communication what is this communication give me one more card give me one card for the knight of swords what is the son of swords here give me one card for the son of swords give me one card for the son of swords the empress and the hermit i'm not going to take that i wanted only one card yeah see this person this person wants something long term with you they see you in their future they see you as marriage material wifey material but the reason here you're attracting this person is probably because or this person is attracting you is because this person's in their power right now you could be dealing with a mother could be a married woman but someone very very mature someone who's standing there in their power sitting in their power on their throne they're attracting people not by chasing but by using law of attraction here someone out here is very spiritual okay and uh being very practical yes of course but someone out here is just like you know what i realize my worth i realize my value and that's why this person whoever this is right now take it how it resonates the energies could be vice versa maybe this is someone who's getting attracted to you capricorn because you're in that empress energy here and someone's coming towards you with communication okay whoever this person is this is someone who's ending a cycle somewhere else or you ended a cycle with them okay but they're coming in i feel it's more like this person cannot tolerate this burden of not talking to you anymore because i feel there's a lack of communication between you guys okay in the past this was the same person who was very guarded yeah and now they're wanting to come towards you because this guardedness is becoming too much for them okay it's becoming more like a turmoil for them and now they're coming in dropping that load and wanting to restart something new with you and with the empress here this person wants longevity okay this person uh, you could have been exhausted giving into this relationship But yeah, communication is coming in from this person because that's how they see you. They see you as someone they want to have a future with. They want to have kids with you. They want to have a family with you. Um, um, give me one more card for Capricorn's feelings for the Ace of Wands and King of Cups. Tell me why is the Ace of Wands and King of Cups here? Give me one more card for Capricorn's feelings. What is the Ace of Wands and the Father of Cups? Give me one more card for Capricorn's feelings. Why is the Ace of Wands here and the King of Cups? The Ten of Pentacles. Wow, wow, Capricorn. This is what's on your mind. If this is not you, this is the person you're dealing with. Someone out here, Capricorn, who you wanted long term with, okay, is now making family stability and security a priority. This is someone here who's working on earning a long-term future with you. Okay, they want a stable foundation. They want babies. They want to have history with you. You know, they want loyalty, uh, commitment, home. They want to be a power couple with you, etc. Okay, but uh, this is 
Capricorn, if this is not you, this is the kind of person who's coming towards you, the person who has a lot of love for you, okay? And they want a brand new beginning with you, they want to start from scratch, and what's on their mind is the Ten of Pentacles here. And that's the kind of person who's coming in to communicate this with you, okay? Because we have the Empress here, the Ten of Pentacles. This is all about marriage, this is commitment, this is long term. Okay. Uh, the person that you're dealing with, Capricorn, is the Three of Cups with a death here. Now, Capricorn, what I'm getting here is that this person out here, right? You could have friends on this person. This person could have friends on you. There could be a third party situation. Okay. That's going on between you guys here or whatever. There could be a third person involved here. Okay. Romantically. If not romantically, there was definitely someone here who friends on the other person. Okay. Like I'm obviously right because there was the, there was no commitment. Probably the love was there, but uh, the love was there for sure. Okay. But this person was just not ready to commit because this person was very immature in the past. So, so this person that you're dealing with, right, is clearly putting an ending to the situation. I don't think this person is interested in reconciling with you. Or okay, Capricorn, you're not interested in reconciling with this person here. This person, of, let's see, okay, with the death here. Give me, uh, give me one more card for this person's energy. Why is this three of cups and death here? Death is basically an ending, okay, of a situation, of a phase in your life. Now, this is either an ending and restarting it's like a rebirth card or it's completely putting an end to something for good okay but i feel as if this person here with the three of cups and death here i feel this person is putting an ending to a third party situation or they don't want a reconciliation or they don't want to be friend zoned anymore or they just don't want to reconcile uh give me one more card for the three of cups and the death here why is this person's energy why is this three of cups and death here for this person's energy that capricorn is dealing with Give me one card. Yeah. Yeah. They're done. <laughs> They're done with you, Capricorn. Or you're done with them with the Ten of Swords here. This person is done. They feel defeated. This person feels defeated. They feel stabbed in the back. And uh, babe, if you're planning to go towards them with the Knight of Swords here, if you're planning to go towards them, because someone out here is approaching the other person here because they don't want the other person to get away. I'm just going to make it very simple because I'm confusing the fuck out of myself, all right? So Capricorn, this is you. I feel you're the one who wants a brand new beginning with this person here. You want marriage, commitment with this person. You have a lot of love for them and you want a brand new start with this person. The person you're dealing with, let's get it straight here. This person does not want to reconcile. They have nothing to do with you, okay? Because this person feels like they were stabbed in the back. They're exhausted, okay? And they've gone through a breakdown here and uh, they've hit rock bottom with you. They've hit rock bottom with you. They feel they've hit a dead wall with you, a dead end with you. And they want to put an end. Uh, they, they're going through a very difficult ending with you. There's a lot of pain, a lot of sadness to this. But they're um, literally like, um, like done and dusted with you. Okay. They don't want this reconciliation. So that's what I'm saying. Now, if this is you, this is them, whatever. Take it how it resonates. I'm not going to confuse myself even more. With the lovers here, this person knows that they have a strong fucking connection to you with the lovers here, okay? You could be dealing with a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. Uh, Libra, Taurus is what I'm seeing. Scorpio. Um, what else? Yeah. So, but with the lovers here and the tower here. This person, someone out here has a huge fucking realization, an abrupt realization, like an epiphany, okay? It's like, dude, this was my twin flame. What the fuck did I just do, okay? And that's the kind of person who's rushing into the other person here. Whereas the other person is like, nope, finito, I'm done. No, thank you. You know, that's the kind of energy that the other person is holding here. Now, whoever this is, okay? But one person out here is realizing an awakening to the fact that they love you, okay? And they want you and they want to choose you. They earlier were probably non-committal. They weren't um, emotionally getting involved into this connection whilst you were the one who was giving more emotionally and this was someone here you know who had to make a choice of whether they wanted to commit to you or whether they just wanted to keep it casual and sexual okay now this person has a realization all of a sudden after you've let your uh, after you've let this person go it's like you know what like guess what i want you back and you're like thanks but no thanks okay the near future we have the king of swords with the ten of cups and the six of wands <laughs> they're not giving up on you baby doll they're not giving up on you they are not 
in the near future you can do whatever the fuck you want caps but this person is coming in with the king of swords here okay whoever's coming in they're coming in with a clear communication this person's very straightforward they're very honest and uh, very clear on what they need to do and what they want they're standing firm in their truth okay and this person is going to very clearly communicate with you and they're going to speak their truth they're going to cut through the bullshit and what they're going to tell you is that they want commitment with you with the ten of cups here they do okay and uh, with the six of wands here this person wants a forward moment with you this is the card of marriage usually this is the card of victory and they're hoping for victory with you they want to win with you and they want to be victorious with you in this connection here they want to put a label on this connection here for sure and that's the kind of communication that you're going to be getting very soon here this person is going to have a huge realization the tower is like the highlight here is what i'm getting even though the tower was at the bottom of the deck i don't know why i feel the need to say this this person here yeah for sure they're coming in with victory this person was someone who was an attention seeker. Maybe they gave all their attention to someone else or they would just like to be the center of attraction and they wanted, they enjoyed attention from other people. It doesn't have to be. Don't take it very literally. But uh, probably they, they saw someone who was ignoring you. They weren't valuing you. You, feel, you felt unloved, unappreciated, okay? And uh, you probably felt not good enough. But this person was definitely undermining you, okay? And they kept pushing you away. You felt very disregarded, which is why there was lack of forward moment here. They're coming to give you all this back. Not back. They never gave it to you, so it's not all this back. But yeah, this person's coming back, coming to give, coming back to give this all, coming back to give you what you deserve. Yeah, they want a family with you. They want a happily ever after, and they're ready to make it public. They're ready to uh, let their friends know, uh, their family know. They're ready to put a label on the connection. Is what I'm hearing again and again. Okay. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. I will see you next time. Bye bye.